by watching right here on House of 3000. And it's gonna pop is this next match. Oh, very, very true. It is yet Bars. another top 24 winner side, uh, winner side qualifier with Dill being being as good as she is. No, needs no both these players need no introduction. I gotta Bars let you the know, journey. Dill won Saga true. first place. So coming definitely off, something we've seen so many times. We know, the, huh? Coming off a dub. Oh yeah, coming off. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you know, Dill is someone who is. Absolutely, we know Dill. We know her Rob. Her Rob is goes so crazy. She's so amazing. She can do a lot of these new general setups that I have absolutely haven't really been seeing too much of uh, until recent days. I'm, I'm loving this new technique she's using with Rob a lot with lasers and gyro as well. And oh my god, the clang, please. Yeah, it feels like Dill has really resolved her style in a lot of ways mm -hmm. when it comes to this Rob. Because the prominent Rob that we see often in the New York, New Jersey area is Zamba and yep. Zamba doing Zamba things. But Dill is choosing to take Rob in the more of a defense punish game direction than Rob's, than Zamba's more advantage state and coverage direction. And it's very, very uh, interesting to see one character that's not usually seen as a incredibly diverse taken in multiple directions. Uh, I would know. I got 2 0 by Dill very handily just earlier in this bracket. Oh my. <laughs> oh. oh, dang. <laughs> but still, we're watching uh, a new era of Bars the Journey as well. Stopping yes. with the cloud, stopping with the pit, and just going full on with this Roy not only enjoying it, but also playing at the best he has been in Smash Ultimate. Yeah, and we saw Bars earlier in Bracket. Bars absolutely is amazing at, 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 at like taking a situation and really turning it around. You know, once he, once he understands his opponent's weaknesses, he will use it to his advantage or actually uh, use the stage's advantage, which I want to talk about really fast. You know, TNC, I talked about before, is a good stage for Rob, uh, for Rob, for Roy, and not one you should really take him to that often if you're not confident in it. I know Dill typically does pick the stage as well the most often, but against someone like Roy, who absolutely loves the the, extended, the slight extended platforms, the change in platforms, and as well as the ledge uh, of the blast zones and like the the radius of the blast zones, this is a, this is kind of Roy, just Roy's stage. Yeah, Roy can just really dominate in so many facets mm -hmm. on a stage like this. And we're seeing Bars try and use that, always being the aggressor, always being the one to push and be on the play. But Dill, a mastery of the crackback when it comes to just finding hits and finding openings based on Bars putting themselves in, putting themselves in a bad position. He's gonna land up there, yeah. Oh, missing the forward tilt mm. after expecting the air dodge, and, but yep. not finding the punish. This should be a repeat of the same exact yep. thing. Yet that time the up air will connect, and Dill will take her first. Uh, will take yet again a lead in this game. And again, you know, and, and Bars has to kind of really use the ledges to his advantage. I know that uh, Roy is absolutely lethal. He's able to get the, the his uh, jab attack on the ledge. And he will kill you so fast. Oh, and I think Dill is so hyper aware of that because she's this is not a matchup that she's unfamiliar with. You know, Zamba also has a Roy that we've talked about a few times uh, on on the, on Xeno Weekly. We've seen a few times against the the Dill um, Rob. So she's not completely unfamiliar to the to the Roy antics. And of course, you've been seeing Roy so often in a lot of tournaments. So I'm I'm glad to see lots of these Dill uh, co kind of covering the ledge a lot against Roy, which where he kind of shines. Yeah, and being very patient with some of these out of shield mm -hmm. punishes, respecting not only Roy's Game range, but air. also the power behind so many of these moves as the Dude, gyro it. lingering just long enough, wow. existing as a hurt as a hitbox while Roy's flare blade Was powers hitting through it. it. <laughs> hitting it constantly, constantly and slowing down his recovery and made it so he could not come back to the stage the way that he wants to right here. Constantly hitting it and then gets bobbed out of it does it again and he's so too much too far to come back and he, he definitely uses jump right there <laughs> that's God, so that's tragic so that's so funny. unfortunate i i mean and then, and, it, then here, and then here's dill right. literally just chilling oh my god i no no i zoom i'm stupid literally just chilling on a ledge yeah. just hanging off and she's like yeah you're dead no, you're absolutely dead she's looking over you and your dead body you know when no one else got robbed Gyro got Rob. <laughs> always. Gyro right. is Rob's son. Always. Gyro always got Rob's him. literal child. Literal. Don't touch Emerson ever again, of course. Yeah, they like to carry Gyro in their hands and protect it from Roy and all of his dangerous 
dangerisms as we're seeing this back throw in onto the platform tech chase. I really like that from Bars. It didn't net them anything, but Roy's back throw and Krom's at low percents, and even Martha Lucina's, this shared fire and bump back throw sends at such a tight angle if they DI in to where it can really, uh, it can, it's not going to lead to any true punishes, but it almost guarantees a follow up. Yeah, agreed. And you know, right now we have a pretty even game between both players. But I'm loving the amount of up airs that uh, that Bars is trying to get against him and trying to catch our jumps on the platforms, which these platforms are very useful for Roy. They they're sure enough that he's actually able to do a lot of his up tilt and up airs off of them, and also his landing aerials. But that's gonna take it with a four smash from Dill, tag catching that up that that high recovery from Bars. Yeah, Bars instant counterplay to what he didn't want to see in the last uh, at the last stop of the first game. Didn't want to get involved with up being right into the gyro. Tried to up be high, and Dill was waiting for waiting to blow them back with a the, those idolizers oh, and no. that forward smash is caught between a rock and a hard place, quite literally. As the comp, as the extension keeps on coming, and two for two on forward smash. Looks like Bars was trying to get to the platform, but Roy's fall speed did not let them in time. Yeah, this is this is becoming a very dangerous game for Bars. Finally getting the first look off of Dill. But, you know, this is still extremely scary for him. He has no extra credit to his name, and he's still he's still a very, like, that's not going to do much damage. Roy Uppy is not too powerful, and in a lot of situations, he needs to be, like, above, like, 100 and work for do anything special. But I, I think mean, he's using more of the invincibility of it in order to kind of uh, cheese out of these, a lot of Dill's um, Dil's attacks, and Gyro as well. Yeah, the trick here is that Bars is using that Uppy as a answer to Rob's Nair. Yep. So Dill as an option, hasn't been going for the aggressive Nairs as much, and instead using Rob's other, the other side of Rob's kit, as much as Rob has some incredible boxing tools like that down tilt dash attack oh into gosh. the gyro, Wait, into can the we combo. Please? Can we, we can please? talk about that real quick. We have to talk about that. <laughs> so what just happened? Uh, <laughs> Bars was ups uh, we, yeah. upset he's Yeah, that, that was absolutely <laughs> insane. We can see a bit fist bumps, great. Now I want to see that last stock. First of all, be reverse gyro. Very nice. Very nice. So, oh yeah, I can let you do yeah. So here we go. The gyro straight up. All right, I'm, I'm sick. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Between a rock and a hard place, a repeat of what we actually saw at you know Saga, where she was using that gyro a lot in order to keep her opponents at bay, and using it as as kind of like a wall where they can't really go anywhere. Uh, Bars got hit by it and then got immediately thrown back into the coming in back air from Dill. And that is just, what do you even do in this kind of situation? You know what really makes it so devious? What's up? I'm, I'm going to head right to the very beginning. This gyro, fully charged, launched out, and we're going we're gonna to watch this at half speed. Where does this gyro go? It's off screen. It goes actually and completely under, underneath uh, bars. If I'm able to, kind of, yeah, right here. Right when bars is landing. Thank you. <laughs> Bars landing, it goes right underneath this, him. This is how you draw it up. This is all luring bars into a false sense of security because he's seeing this gyro. It's go oh, hello there. <laughs> we're, we're seeing this gyro go straight that way. It's gonna head off screen. He jumped over it. Doesn't it'll even probably see it. it'll probably even head off stage. He is no longer thinking about this entire half of the stage. Gyro's not there. It's gonna fall off stage. Mm -hmm. He can now be the aggressor against Dill. And as soon as you forget about Gyro, it is, becomes your worst enemy because this it's falling right fair there. is right into the Gyro. Stage That's awareness. Stage awareness and positioning is where Dill's God. best friends, not only on small battlefield, but also on town and city. I mean, we saw how many forward smashes that she ended up la landing. Yeah, twice in that whole game. And she was able to kind of just set, up, set up into those. And it's just like, oh, yeah. she's so... She's, she's, again, she's capitalizing a lot of these on these gyro setups I'm loving seeing. I was, that's how I was talking about the gyro kind of, I, the gyro wall. That's what it is. Oh. You're stuck in a, I, we saw a, saw a saga where, uh, I can't even remember who, but they were just stuck in a constant loop, and they get 60% off of that. Yeah. And it was horrifying. You know what else we love? We love the we wall love of weeklies that happen every single week up in New York area. Not only with Xeno, but also.